Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some, um, games. I'm going to review them. So, already I can review Gorilla Tag, VR Chat, and Rec Room. Rec Room is a good game. There's tons of platform. I mean, well, there's tons of things you can play. You can play with people. The only thing I'm going to take a point away for is the toxicity in it sometimes. I just had a problem with that yesterday. Somebody was getting bullied in my server, and it was not nice. So make Rec Room a better place, guys, if you start playing it. Um, you know, report anybody who's doing bad things, and also um, don't do it yourself. So for that, I give Rec Room a 9 out of 10. VR chat, there's tons of avatars, um, the games are fun, the only thing wrong with it, again, there's two things wrong with it, and I'm going to take points away for those, toxicity, and also, um, there's some like there's not much interaction involved in the game i feel like there could be more but overall i give it an 8 out of 10 and this is a really good game and i suggest it be saber i can also do but i'll just do that while i'm reviewing um whichever one of these um so yeah so Gorilla Tag, um, I'm gonna actually play back and I'm gonna review it. Okay, so Gorilla Tag, um, it's a really good game. The graphics aren't the best, but that doesn't matter. The developer works really hard on it and he releases, like, frequent updates, so that's really good. Um, that, that's... He constantly adds new thi things. Sorry, I th I thought it was gonna like glitch out or something. Well, it's in this. Alright, so I think it glitched out while that was happening. So I'm just gonna say it again. The graphics aren't that good, but the developer. Lemming constantly releases new um, updates and maps, and there's loads and loads of content, and so yeah, um, I think the game is awesome, And but there's toxicity, and that's pretty much it, so... I think this one's gonna get a 10 out of 10. I mean, 9 out of 10. So, right now we're gonna be reviewing Battle Talent. I went ahead and went through the tutorial. And so. There. I'm actually gonna. Oh, you can get coins from playing the dungeon. Alright, so let's get playing, guys. We are going to start off with the sandbox. The sandbox is nice and fun. We're not going to do skull because I don't like the skeletons. This is the enemy spawn, by the way. So, 
So yeah, you can uh, customize the settings for um that. I think there is a variety of weapons over here. They have arms. <gasps> they have a pistol and the force. That's cool. All right, let's start it. Oh, let me do wield this. Lord Croft, Lord Croft. I think. I think. I think. I'm sorry. Yes. You're dead! Noob! Noob! Oh, she did. Thank you for dying. Finally, oh my god. All right, Fortnite Battle Royale time. That's Fortnite Battle Royale, this crap. Defend me. Ah, I didn't know you had to do that. Let's test that sword. And then we'll test out the dagger. Deaded, guys. <laughs> I was sure I'm not deaded again. Nobody did! 
Nobody wants you. Nobody needs you. We didn't ask. Y'all. It's way, way too laggy. To solve that problem. We're getting rid of these. And none of these. And so we're turning off those for our team too. So it's less laggy. So the game is being worked on, obviously, because it's an app lab, but it's very laggy. So I'm going to take one point away for that. But the game's combat, let's see how it works while well, the game is working smoothly, hopefully. Oh my god, March of the Goblins. smack you. Alright, I love the mace. One of my favorite weapons by far. Alright, we've already tested out the storm pistol, but we'll actually review it. I give the uh, mace a nine, nine and a half out of ten. Just because a little more controllability would make it perfect. Times? Listen. I think 
think he's dead. I thought you were an enemy. Why are you not dead yet? I think it could take less shots to kill them. But I give the pistol a eight out of ten. Let's go with that. All right, let's check out the dagger. Yeah, I gotta review that, boy. I gotta get you taken care of. Idiot! Idiot, you just hit him! It's on your team! Get a life! Whoa, that's cool! Taking this kid. Back it up. Dude, the pistol is so fun. I mean, dagger is so fun. 10 out of 10. My first 10 out of 10 weapon. That's my go to. So, um, I'm trying all weapons with. Two hands. So, uh. Alright, one hand. Alright, the axe should have a little controllability. I only, uh, used. Um. With two hands, it's still pretty hard, too. But let's review the backs. But, by the way, I give the normal axe about, um, you know, uh, probably a 8 out of 10. Um, Beat Saber. Graphics, amazing. Yeah. Why you got lights in your eyes? Are you a Halloween decoration? songs but like and there's different things you can do like you can hit different blocks and different orders and stuff like and there's challenges you can do but like basically what I'm saying is you can't do anything besides that so for that I'm just gonna like take one and a half points away because that's pretty big in a game like, there's different modes. Like, I get there's multiplayer and, like, solo. But, um...
like, you know. Yeah. It's on a rampage. Hold on, I got this. Um, but, you know. Like, in Minecraft, there's a variety of worlds. Like, here, I'll compare it to the other games. Gorilla Tag, there is mods you can get. Uh, there's also different game modes offered. There's uh, the challenges you can do, like, one-handed or, like, stuff like that. But, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Get away from him. Pick up somebody your own size, a.k.a. me. He's doing that. There's tons of different games. Grill tag. There's different modes. And, you know, battle talent, which I'm going to write in a second. There is sandbox. There's um, dungeon. There's multiple power-ups you can use. Where in Beat Saber, the power-ups are technically just there to help you. Like, but these are like new weapons and stuff, like, it, you, you, hopefully you get what I'm saying, but basically, that's why I give Beat Saber an eight and a half, but anyways, let's rate Battle Town, so the graphics, I mean, gotta give the graphics, like, an eight and a half out of ten, like, they're pretty good. But, uh, it's a little messy and stuff. Combat. That's one thing I want to know. It is really, really good. Um, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's not 10 because it's not, like, crazy, super, super crazy standards. As in Blaze and Sorcery. Like... Melee, melee, more types, not like Pavlov or like Population One or something like that. By the way, if you guys want me to do a review on Population One, I will. But um, any, <coughs> sorry. Anyways, um, the weapons, I give a ten out of ten. They're super good. Um, and so after all, I give this game a. 9 out of 10. Because graphics are pretty good. You gotta admit. Um, the weapons are awesome. And you know, I forgot what else I reviewed. But I mean. um, Oh combat. The combat is really good. So. I definitely suggest this game. It's completely free on App Lab. Um. So you guys can play it as long as you have an Oculus. Um, so yeah, uh, go ahead, get it if you have one. This is a really fun game. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do for now. This was a pretty long video. So, bye. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe too. Or I'll...